I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why you haven't seen any videos posted on my YouTube channel lately. Well, it's because I had a two-strike ban, and I was banned for like a few weeks. But yes, I have been still going out on confrontations, and yes, I have still been chatting. So there are a few videos um, to, that have yet to be, be seen by you guys. Um, a few things that have happened in the mix lately, though. Um, Jimmy Meadows, uh, I haven't checked in the last couple of days, but Jimmy Meadows has been arrested for 31 or 32 counts of child pornography. Um, he is an individual that I was speaking with uh, a few weeks ago, and I was pretending to be like 13-year-old Christopher. Um, talking to him on the phone. I leaked his phone number. If you check the previous videos, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you'll see. I have to make this video a little quick because I'm sitting in the parking lot of a convenience store and it's so embarrassing when somebody rolls up beside me and then I'm sitting here talking into my phone and, and I guess it probably just looks like I'm FaceTiming myself. Um, a few other things. Uh, got a few hate videos from some people. They're saying that Justin's changed and he ain't himself, and I'm um, arrogant and stuff. I'm so humble. I'm so me more than I've ever been. Um, I'm just getting over the flu. You might be able to hear my voice a little bit. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know how to address that. I mean, um, Justin Payne. We thought it was cool because of the fact that he was Canadian. And because he was getting a lot of hype in the press and stuff like that for being a child protector against pedophiles and things. He calls himself a pedophile hunter. Now, I have nothing against people who, you know, want to look after our children and the children of today's society. That's great, you know. But I don't really believe he's doing it for the kids. I believe he's doing it to... As, as a thrill, basically. He's a thrill seeker, in my opinion. He has some... The last video I saw, he was literally hanging off the side of some guy's car. Like, literally trying to get the guy to stop. Oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Da, 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 you know? Um, why'd you come here to meet this little girl, you know? And, and all the stupidness. The police have told him before that he needs to stay out of things. He claims that, you know, oh, he's trying to work with them and he gives them the conversations and this and that. There is nothing that he could say or do that is going to, you know, going to make a difference, honestly, because it's he said, she said, you know, he uses, he, he entraps them. That's what it is. It's entrapment. He isn't any part of the police force or anything like that. He is a one-man show, basically, with too much time on his hands. He claims that he works and that he puts his own money into this, and, you know, he's had to invest in a better computer and a better camera and things for this. If you were really doing this for yourself and for the community, then... And, and really trying to make it something that you would catch pedophiles, you're not going to be putting it online. You're not going to be, you know, talking to the public about it. You're going to try to keep your identity under wraps so that you can continue doing what you're doing to make a difference. But as I said, you know, he's literally hanging off the side of somebody's car so trying to leave the parking lot. He's face to face with people screaming at them. And then, you know, he's telling them to back up and He's got somebody with him who's holding the camera and they're screaming at somebody. Like, all it is is it's just a macho watch me type of thing. At least that's what I get from it. Um, I recently did a rant on my blog about him here a couple of months ago that he's an overprivileged little whiner, basically, and that he wants his YouTube followers to pay for his way of life. Um, Every time you see him, he's in his car, and he's smoking a cigarette, like, ew, and he's on his cell phone, he's calling guys in the States, pretending to be, like, a little boy, and I really think that he enjoys us, or he gets off on it. What can you do about a man who's in the States? What does that have to do with anything? Our police will not be able to do anything to him or, or, or like that. You know, he's from a totally different country. And then trying to lure him to Canada to meet you under the pretenses that you're a little boy is just disgusting. Um, 
I really think maybe he has uh, homosexual intentions. And like I said, you know, I'm not a hater by any means. I'm a bisexual woman. Some people are going to be like, what? <laughs> but yeah. Um, so like I said, that there's no hate there. But I think it's something that he's struggling with. And, or maybe he even has daddy issues. I don't know. But there's something more to it. Maybe he's a victim himself and doesn't quite know how to go about uh, dealing with it. So this is his way. I don't know. But regardless, I think it's ridiculous. And he even made a GoFundMe account. Like, I can't talk. I made one asking for $300 to help with my car repairs after the accident. Um, and that was just basically, like I said, to be able to get her back on the road so that I could get to and from appointments. That wasn't even the cosmetics of it. Like I said, the cosmetics of it are going to be well over $1,000 if it can even be done. It may be to the point that I'm just driving my car until inspection runs out and then getting another one. Uh, I really hope that's not the case. But So, like I said, you know, he had a GoFundMe page asking people for money to help him catch these online predators and you know and then he's showcasing us what he's bought with this money like um, a, a higher voltage digital camera because the other one was no good he had an easy Kodak share or something but that was no good so he had to have another one that was higher and then he had to have a better laptop and yeah, talking about you know his gas and all of this I just think it's ridiculous and I think he needs to stop, especially after the last video. Um, he, he's just given Canadians a bad, bad name. But anyways, I'm about to pull in here so I'm ending. Ciao! So basically I finally have the opportunity to be able to finish the rest of this video just explaining what's been going on lately because you guys haven't seen me in quite a while and I know that a lot of people are going to be complaining that I'm smoking in the video, which is understandable. Um, I'm going to be trying that, the, the vaping thing soon uh, to see if that helps me to cut down to quit. Um, so right now it's like 10.30, sitting in my car right now, um, just finishing up some chatting and stuff. The chat lines have been a little bit slow lately, which is understandable with all like the news coverage and stuff that I've had with the Alabama incident. And then everybody else that's doing this as well all the other um all the other people that are pedophile hunting or however you call it um yeah and i've gotten a lot of hate videos lately like i guess you call them video responses a lot of people saying negative things saying that i'm arrogant and things like that i mean i post a video you can assume a million things from it i mean you guys don't really know me um, personally, or, like, who I am, or, like, what I like, or anything, or whatever, like, what I like to do, or just, like, any traits about me, or anything, so, it's completely understandable to assume somebody's personality based on a video, I mean, I walk up to somebody, ask them questions, and I start yelling at them sometimes, I mean, it's totally understandable, and I haven't done, like, a video like this for you guys to be able to kind of see me, for me, like, I mean, this is probably the first time you guys have seen me in sweatpants and, like, clean clothes and not my work stuff. Because, like, earlier in the beginning of the video, I just got off work. So, right now, I'm just sitting in the car and... Just finishing up some chatting and stuff. Um, so, in the past few weeks that you guys haven't seen me, um, me and my security guy uh, met somebody that wanted to the person that we met off off one of the chat sites wanted to perform oral sex on what he thought was an 11 year old boy i didn't upload his video yet obviously well he messaged my female profile too 13 year old jennifer he didn't take the bait yet i told him how old i am but he's interested but given the magnitude of the situation that happened before with him getting caught, he's very slow now. He's very nervous. He's very cautious, which is, I mean, obviously completely understandable. So, I mean, I'm going to wait for that one. See if I can get him again. 
but um, I just want to kind of come out here and tell you guys like how everything's been going and everything, and, and everything's been great. Um, seen my son a lot lately, which has been amazing. Um, like I literally put myself into hell in these chats and stuff, and even more so when I pretend to be Christopher because I talk to these people, these these perverts on on the phone and stuff, and. Like, I literally put myself in that situation of hell. And when I get to see my son on the weekends, I literally forget that I that I do this. I forget. I just, I feel, I feel, I feel, like I feel normal. And it's, it's fucking amazing. Like, mind you, the reason why I'm smoking though today is because well, I'm trying to quit like I have been trying to quit for the longest time and I've been cutting back but I was sick too for the past couple days too so there's that um that's pretty much it I don't want to sit here like most people do and just mm, talk for like 15 minutes uh, just want to give you guys an update on what's been going on, and yeah, so I'm not banned anymore, as you can see, I'm posting a video, and I'm really going to shut this off soon, because there's people, like, walking around my car, walking their dogs and stuff, and walking down the street, and they probably think I'm crazy sitting here talking to myself, like I said before, FaceTiming myself. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend, and you have a happy, fun, safe weekend this weekend, but it's only Monday now, so... Well, going on Tuesday. Anyway. <laughs>